Tackle BZM, Chrono good back chrono. number one, catches the two of them. They'll focus BZM first, they've got the damage to bring him down. See if they can turn for more, Yuragi, he's in straight away on top of Panzer as the Pugna has to run. Shackle, one back, the Gl Gale Force as well, blowing back for cars over towards Yuragi, who get the stun in, ripped as well, dragging him back, they're in onto the void. Shackle again. Forward. Shackle again, Seb, locking them down. Oh Thunder Awaken, everybody's dead. They poured it into that fight too. See if they can try and get Sableye. He'll try and surge away, but the shackles there from Seb. Sableye in trouble. Boundless at the ready. OG continues to well and truly deal with the, the top, top lane darks that are sending out the tips as well. Over to the mid. Ryle tries a bit of setup here with the Dream Core, but TP's are coming in. Moon, he's got to back off. Shackle. They get the shackle again. Seb's it. See, grabbing the speed creep into the Doom. So they can't really commit on him either, because if they do throw anything, oh, he Yuragi. just needs and resets. Yuragi, off They're going to mark Dubu stepping forward. Prowl's going to try and help out here as so he'll jump in with the silence onto Seb. But they've lost Dubu. Seb should tick out pretty low. No, he's actually going to live. The table like, gets him with the vacuum, but he couldn't quite catch Seb. Ah, he's ready to fight. He's in under the tier 2, committing him with the BKB. He'll turn over towards Sable. Like, take out the Darks here. Dubu's brought back. TSMFTX, can they really punch back in this fight? Bryl, Bryl. forward, he'll get caught by the Scalabus into the Cookie Tiger, locking him down, Tubu trying to heal up the puck, but Amar's in on top of him with the silence, Bryl goes down, zip forward from BZM, they have the control on towards Tubu, Tomato lost the beacon, he tried to be out, but the bash is there, triple kill from Amar, zip over from BZM towards Moon, OG, they get the team wipe! Whoa, <laughs> this is no surprise at all uh, to go for that Maelstrom build, and either way you're going to end up with a Mjolnir, or um, that balance strike, you can see the relocate coming with BZM, Wukong's command to follow, but Seb's all alone inside, and the heal up from Snake King, keeping 33 quite healthy. Seb might have to sacrifice himself, but we've seen him get away many a time. He actually dodges the Whirling Axes and pounces away again, Seb continually living and forcing out all these rotations. So they didn't wait because the meta was already out. I didn't realize he popped it that early on in the fight. Yeah. Now it just keeps on jumping in. Midwan sees an opportunity. Oh. Like the smoke screen catches Riceberg right as he goes for the jump buddy, but pops a Minotaur horn. Does manage to get a toss back. Backed up though. Telekinesis does the lines for long. Hook shot one. Cox push back towards them. And he managed to get off the cheese. I'm saved. And now the RP into the... Oh, oh, beautiful. Thompson. He'll finish it off in style. They have a couple of buybacks, but only two. You know, this is this is OG after all, though. We've seen this before. We've seen a TI. Never say never. In comes Dotel. Dotel. Runs into uh, well, that's not how you want the fight to start. Not with three heroes getting locked up with the Torrid Storm combo. And Sumail versus them all. Can he do the damage? Stands his ground with the call down. But Matumba Man muscling his way through him. They try to save him. Sucks him. They get up the stun. No tell with the save. But Healy. Sumail, he's got to get out. He doesn't have Satanic. Oh, does he? No, he's been decrept. He's got to back away. Sucks that keeps healing him. Wow. He survives. They did have to use a buyback there. But in no tell with the carapace again. So many interruptions, it doesn't seem to matter as Matumba still has ages. He's got the Illusionist Cape too. Charges forward, looking for the no-tail kill again. Can they get it? Burrow straight forward, looking for the commitment. Seb still holding on to that epicenter. Not that it matters all that much as Gyro decrept again, healed again. Is it going to be enough? Sumail, Satanic in one second. Can he get it off? He can. The Burrow through. He holds oh, his ground. Doing it. No way. Sumail, he's got it in three. PL is coming back. Nisha's on the he's run. He can force him down. That's four. Matumba's the last man standing! Can they kill him off? Decrep, suck, stun! He gets off the Abyssal, he charges the other way! Matumba trying to find the kills, where are they? They're nowhere! Oh, it's the Chen stun follow-up with the net! They're gonna do it! They get all five! Oh, Holy way. shit! What's going on, OG? And they don't even lose to the enemy outpost, which is now theirs. 33, oh. spotted out again, okay. That was the gem spotting out the ward as well. The Shackle, Viper Strike, Gale Force combination. 33 is just perma stun here. Nice Omni Slash though, so Taiga will be the trade. Tundra getting something out of this, but they lose Sox. Another Shackle by Seb. Meteor coming out, Skeeter with the TP, but the right click damage is way too much to handle as OG looking to take game one in extremely convincing fashion. They'll find the Invoker as well. Double kill. Fantastic for those kind of moments. Like we just saw Toby getting dove at bottom, but here comes Shad TPing in. Boots to travel on set, but he's been chased think down he by a light. he out, so he's yeah. getting it chased. He has to just keep stacking up those stickies during the retreat. Yeah, actually, actually the last, last uh, Shad. Okay. Is that <laughs> Greatness comes to those who take it.
Introducing the new AMD Ryzen desktop processors. With the new AMD Ryzen 5700X and 5600 processors, dominate your enemies and enjoy gaming at the highest levels. Follow the footsteps of legends and become the next one. Boost your gaming experience and get ready for battle. Jumps down, around, looking for snaking. Trying to put that echo save to work, but Fisher blocks him in, but a three-man stun into the Wukong and the RP! Everything together! Layer it like a cake! OG, they would love to get CC and C2, but he will spirit to away. Take. Yeah, untouchable plus fire spirits. Yeah. That rush is... Look at this backswing. It's pretty slow, eh? Yeah. I know. Oh, 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 He's in! The full man who's stuck! Can I do it? The Bulls coming out for Jerex! S4 crit! They're getting low, they've lost two EG S4! Trying to run away, but he can't escape! The five man's gonna come up straight away here from crit! Sabel, RTG still alive for now, Anna getting tossed up, tossed back, Sabel, he's gonna stay alive for Seb, back in with a Husson, Sabel managed to pick up an ultra kill before he went down. To be spawning Roshan and PSG LGD are well away. Roshan's up, it looks like only OG knows oh, right now. Arme, he'll battle. Anna. He's losing, losing, losing action, Arme's gonna get caught out by the tornado though. They've opened up onto him, Arme, trying to get on top of Anna. The BKB popped by Chalice, he'll get the ult out. No-Tail getting gone on straight away by F5 with the snowboard. No-Tail's dead for 100. They'll get the Chen, Anna, in the midst of it, trying to lock down onto F5. The rest of his team about to come over, they get the Tornado. Out onto X over Seb, looking for the cool control onto Arme. Has he got it? Arme getting stunned up by the cold snap, but he's able to wait for him. The Hyra top turn, blinks in. He gets the Hex out with F5 with the snowball save. They get the bash out, Sonus will be able to find the Ayo. But they're fully low, OGD. That's Sonus there for two minutes. They get Thompson, Thompson there for two minutes. Only Anna, Anna, can he do it here? He's at half out, Seb! Seb gets the call! He gets the call! Of his lifetime! As three dead now on LGD. No buyback. Seb will fall. They need to fight around the pit, Seb. Can he find a chance for the RP? Chalice on the high ground. They're going to head into the pit, OG. They're confident, knowing Seb can sit there on the high ground, ready with the counter play, Arme. Getting sprouted, Chalice looks to make a play, jumps in, immediately going through with the lasso. Has he got the control to get the damage out? He can! Nice. That's gonna be Arna dead, but Anna buys back straight away, Arme moving in with the BKB. Rocha still alive throughout this all. They've lost Thompson, the slide, the change, the remnant across. They'll get the kill onto Chalice, Bubble. but now Anna, he's in the middle of it all. Uses himself up, the flame guard, ticking it point down like a slide of fist. The RP! Seb, he's got the control onto Arme! As OG, they Towards Somnus surrounding him in the pit. Somnus, he'll go down as well. Oh the buyback from Anna securing the fight here for OG. There's only X over left alive, but not for long. They chase him down. They get the T wipe. Triple kill for Anna as he buys we'll back. He'll be able to back up a no tail. He's in with the sprout, the chains. The setup's there. Anna closing in. He'll be forced to the side. Somnus, can he get himself back to the fountain? He'll turn. He'll clean out the summons there with the tiebringer here. Top but he's stuck in the tree line. Anna just going for the kill is Somnus still alive? They get themselves now a bigger target, potentially Arme. Arme, he's sprouted. He has got something, can he get it off? He can't. Arme cut down as the tier fours now being taken by OG. There's all the time. Bring his big with the chalice. It's another down. OG, can they get Somnus? Somnus. He's doing his best to hold 10 seconds before he's got teammates back in Seb. Peeling Somnus away from the fountain. And is on top of it, Somnus. Down to half health. He's trying to retreat with the chains. They get themselves another Somnus taken down. Azame with a BKB reflection. Anna starting to be forced back. They have got X Nova and FY back in the game now. No Echo Slam or Global. The Ancient is exposed. As OG, the Nimbus no, down, the I... shockwave from Seb gets themselves another. They're onto the Ancient. OG. OG. I've done it. They have they done it. have done it. The power of flowers and friendship. Heal off of SRF. He is dead. I love this SRF. Like, he was a little bit slow.
Well, he got his blink dagger, and now he's making moves all over the map. They are immediately going to run a top lane. They do manage to get a really good stomp, but a miss down the gyrocopter. The terrorize to follow it up keeps the two supports controlled as well as catches aggressive. He's going to be able to get the stun onto him. They need to be able to finish off Bulbga, take out the healer before they kill the core, and that's exactly what they do. Aggressive is going to be slowed down. Seb catches him. That is a triple. For OG, a double kill specifically for... With him dead, they even buy back on GH and they're looking to push the high ground. Miracle, he is the one with the Aegis. And I think they're going to have to force more buybacks here from OG to try and defend this. Oh. But Miracle, I looked back for a second on the back lines because it looked like they were going to find Jarex, but we have a black hole. It is over onto Anand. Do they have enough damage to bring it down? He pops his BKB, pops the Chronosphere, and he's trying to take down the small but he knows he doesn't have the damage. There's an Aeon disc here on Mind Control, but a big follow-up RP by Seb. Seb, you can call his name now, but the epicenter is enough to follow Shana. He buys back, but they have lost the Aegis as well as my control. A nice double stun, but do they have enough? They have the control of the Soulbind. GH is not going to live through this. So Miracle, he's by it himself. They get the double Laguna base. Are they able to take down Miracle? They are able to cover the top man. Miracle getting stunned up, getting hexed, and they do kill him. OG with the buybacks. What a turnaround there from this fight. On the I side agree. of Liquid right now, it's just not there. And now she's ready to go back. back. And again, Jarek's in with a wrap around the combo. Now that's a mind control. The cooldown's there. Liquid out to back off. Again, mind control's man. It pretty much got He's able to pop the stick. Get the GA off at least. Can they fight for the duration of it though? They're getting towards Sam. He also pop. Sends back pretty much up to four. Jarek's in with another combo. On to We Are. We Are stand up. We Are dead. Miracle's the UFO. Mr. the missile follow through. OG pushing Liquid back to the base. Mind control that man at top. So willing to fuse the blade. Picking them apart. G8 percent cuts him down on Shepard. Double kill. They're pushing on OG. Liquid getting forced back to the base. And Liquid have nothing. They have nothing to offer, folks. They're just giving. Look at this. They're diving fountain in TI finals. They want Karoki in the fountain as well. They're going to get him. They're chasing Miracle as well. Oh my god. I can't believe this. I can't believe what we're seeing in this game for OG. You throw your sword all against you. You throw the sword all against you. There it is. With a Tidehunter, he becomes basically unkillable. Yeah, you take a large percentage of the damage away, and then you take just straight up raw damage out. Thompson, though, he's really got to be careful of that Sunray. That's the only thing that really threatens him right now, is if he stays into the entirety of that, that percentage-based damage does do some good work. And what a rolling from Soxa, reading where the Remnant's going, and that's a vacuum follow-up as well with a Ravage. And is that just going to be the wipeout of this game? They do manage to take out the Supernova, and there's still some buybacks left in the tank for Ninjas the Pajamas. They're going to have to blow all of them, though, and they don't have their Echo Slam. They don't have their Supernova. I'm not sure what they have to be able to stop OG from retreating. And I'm not even sure if they can really stop them from just taking their base like this. Roll forward, Saber Light tries to dive away. Danny dies inside of the fountain too. Couldn't get out fast enough. The silence on Supreme. Look at the, uh, the move speed on these two heroes. Yeah, dude, they're just rolling Bro. up. Finally, Charlie, he's going to pop his ultimate. There goes the Echo Slam out from Arrow once again. They're trying to target to mid one, but the heals come out from No Tail. Every single time they try and target somebody else other than No Tail, they are met with a resounding wall of heals and magic immunity that pushes them back. They finally had to go for No Tail now, but then eventually they just run out of damage. The four men of OG remain strong even just outside of your fountain. Pull it back, oh, back out. Pull out of the fountain. Get back here. We want to have a fight a little bit longer before we finish.